as we go through the examples in this course and as you look at scripts that you find from different sources and as you write your own scripts, you're going to notice a few things that are constant in how these scripts are constructed. If we look at the syntax.py file here in our 04 syntax folder in exercise files, you'll notice a few things. First of all, at the very top, there's this line with a pound sign, which is the comment indicator in Python, and an exclamation point, and then a path to the Python interpreter. This is used in environments that run the script from a shell, Unix-based environments like a Mac or a Linux environment. And one of the beauties of a scripting language like Python is that your script can run in a number of different environments without change. And so it's important that you leave this as the first line of the file. Now this path here that starts with the first slash must be the path to the Python interpreter. Now this is a very common path, user bin Python 3. That'll work in a lot of environments. If you try to run this in a Unix-based environment and you find that it doesn't work, one thing that you'll want to look at is this path to see if the path needs to change. Another thing that you'll notice is this line down here at the end. What this does is it allows us to run the script with the functions in any order that we want. Without this line and without the main execution of the script being inside a function called main, then you wouldn't be able to run functions that are defined after the function is called. In other words, if I put a function in here and I say def egg and print egg, well, I'll need to call the egg here, egg, and save and run. You'll notice that that runs. Now, if I were to take out this def main and just make this like that without it being in any function at all, and we'll get rid of this. So you might want to just call egg from here and then define egg down there. That will not work. That'll give us a syntax error because egg is not defined at the point where we call it. So what this allows us to do is to define functions after they're called. And this is actually very useful and very common. So you'll see this construct in a lot of the scripts that you encounter. If we just had it this way, it would serve the same purpose. The reason for this part of it here is it allows this to only be run when this file is called as the main module. Later on in the course, we'll get into writing modules, and modules typically contain classes and functions. And a lot of times when you write a module, you're going to want to have a test suite at the end of the module. And this allows you to put that in a main function, and it will only run if the module is called as the main module. It won't run when the module is included in other modules. So you'll see this pattern a lot, and that's basically what it does and what it's for, and it's just a good idea to always stick it in your scripts.